my goodness, he's been shot in the back. Son, the ambulance is coming, just lie still. Can you hear me at all? Son, can you hear me? Get me something to stop the bleeding. Chelsea Lawson is one of the characters in the long-running television soap opera entitled The Young and the Restless, portrayed by American actress Melissa Claire Egan, and which has made her one of the most recognized faces in the daily drama TV series community. The role was created by one of the former head writers of the show, Maria Arena Bell, and made her first appearance in a November 2011 episode. Initially, her character was one of those that viewers loved to hate, but it eventually evolved into someone people could root for, and for fans to empathize with. Melissa earned a few acting nominations from the Daytime Emmy Awards, but her character transformation has left fans wondering what she'll do next in the city of Genoa. When the TV show The Young and the Restless was still on the drawing board, its creators William J. Bell and Lee Philip Bell called it The Innocent Years. The working title didn't last very long, as it became apparent that it wasn't about the innocent years at all. As they worked on the plot, it turned out that it was more about the youth who lost their innocence during the early 1970s, so they changed to the present title. The Bells used an actual town as the backdrop of the story, as Genoa City exists in Wisconsin. They were inspired to use it as they often pass by during their weekend trips. Getting known actors to appear in soap operas was quite a challenge back then, as most rarely work on a TV serial. So when it premiered on March 26, 1973, it had the youngest ensemble of actors. At that time, daytime dramas were aired in half-hour-long episodes. But it became popular as the American audience became fixated on the lives of the characters. So after seven years of being on top, CBS executives wanted to expand its profitability and asked the Bells to extend episodes to an hour. Not everyone on their roster accepted the change with open arms, and some actors left the show after their contracts expired. As a result, ratings suffered, and it took the show about three years to regain its number one status. But then it never looked back. Actress Melissa Claire Egan was born on September 28, 1981, in Pound Ridge, New York State. She became keen on acting early on in life, and it is the reason why she graduated with a bachelor's degree in dramatic art from the University of North Carolina. She started her acting career by making guest appearances in popular teen TV series, including One Tree Hill and Dawson's Creek. She also tried the big screen and had a role in the 2005 film called Wrestling. The character of Chelsea Lawson wasn't her first dip into daytime soap operas. Melissa was in All My Children for four and a half years before leaving the show in January 2011. In October of the same year, it was announced that she would be the newest addition to the hit soap opera The Young and the Restless and she subsequently stayed with the TV daytime series for over seven years before saying goodbye in 2018, even then only because she suffered a miscarriage. After a year of absence, she returned to the series as her character made a comeback to the city of Genoa. In July 2021, Melissa left the show again as she needed to focus on her pregnancy, but after her maternity leave, she was back on the set. It was in November 2011 when Chelsea Lawson first appeared in The Young and the Restless. She was a devious and cunning con artist who showed up in Genoa City to tell Billy Abbott, a married man, that she was pregnant and he was the father of the baby. As Chelsea became integrated with other people in the community, her character eventually softened up and evolved into someone kinder and nicer. What Billy and Chelsea had was just a one-time meeting back in Myanmar. After she proved through a DNA test that Billy's the father, she was welcomed into his home. Through the course of her pregnancy, she came to the realization that she couldn't have a baby at that point in her life, and agreed to give up the parental rights to her baby to Billy and his wife Victoria. During her pregnancy, Chelsea met Adam Newman and found someone she could relate to without being judged for past mistakes. Victoria, Adam's sister, never approved of the relationship and forced Chelsea to run off. If Adam hadn't found her in time, she would have died in a frozen lake along with her baby. He helped deliver the baby in an isolated cabin, which she named Johnny, and left him in Billy and Victoria's care. Victor Newman Sr. tried to pay her off to skip town, but she turned down the money and went to work as a bartender, even taking her GED to improve her future prospects. While Adam continued to help her financially, friendship turned to love and they married. However, his ex Sharon was always around and Chelsea felt that Adam still had feelings for her. They divorced not because of Sharon, because Adam couldn't leave the family business enterprise for her. They were supposed to relocate to another state to have a new start. Things became more complicated, and in true The Young and the Restless fashion, Chelsea's life turned even more confusing due to the many relationships that she entered into. She became pregnant again, and Adam was the father. She wanted to tell him, but her friend and business partner Chloe convinced her not to because she'd had a one-night stand with Dylan McAvoy. So she chose to tell Dylan that he was the father of her baby. Dylan was ecstatic and proposed to her so they could live as a family. They were married, and her baby was named Connor. Later, the baby turned out to have her tinnitus pigmentosa, which was hereditary, and when Adam learned of it, he was convinced that he was the father. 
When Chelsea was confronted by the two men, she told them the truth. Dylan filed for annulment and Adam remarried her. Their son had a corneal transplant, the donor being Dealey Abbott, who had been killed in a vehicular accident, found later on to have been a hit and run with Adam the culprit. He even made a video confessing to his crime, but then went missing. All believed that he was dead. Chelsea's world became colorful again when she was pursued by Billy Abbott, but it took some time for her to reciprocate his feelings. They became engaged after Chelsea finally gave up on her missing husband, when it was confirmed through dental records that a body found after a car explosion was Adam's. She then went to church to leave the handkerchief given to her by Adam's mother, as a sign that she finally accepted that Adam passed away. However, a woman named Sage had kept Adam alive, but he remained a captive, and was forced to assume the identity of Gabriel Bingham, a grandson of Constance Bingham, a wheel-bound old woman whom Sage was taking care of. Sage was monitoring what happened in Adam's life back in Genoa while she was in recovery. The handkerchief that Chelsea left in the church was returned to her front door. She thought someone knew that it belonged to her, but Billy was quite suspicious about it. Adam returned to Genoa and met Chelsea again, but with a new face and a new name. Adam couldn't help but get involved with Chelsea's life, and eventually, Billy left her when he found out that she was seeing Gabriel, or Adam. It didn't take long for her to discover that Gabriel's real identity was Adam. Chelsea kept Gabriel's identity a secret, but would have reconciled if she hadn't discovered that he was part of a project called Paragon, a computer virus that could eventually ruin the family business enterprise. She went to Victor and told him about Adam's evil plans. Victor had Adam arrested, actually because he was the reason Delia Abbott had died in the hit and run. A fire started at Newman Enterprises as a result of the Paragon project that Ian, one of the computer technicians, activated. Adam showed up in disguise as one of the firefighters and saved some of the people in the building, including Billy. Apparently, during Adam's prison transport, they had a vehicular accident and he was hospitalized instead of being incarcerated, which is how he escaped and helped with the fire. Due to his heroic acts, his sentence was reduced and he only did community service. After Adam died in another explosion, which was later revealed to be arranged by Chloe, Chelsea became involved with the new man, Nick. He was suspicious of Chloe and told Chelsea that it was her best friend who was responsible for Adam's death. Initially, Chelsea didn't believe it, but when she found Adam's wedding ring in Chloe's drawer, there was a confrontation and Chloe confessed. She then committed suicide. Chelsea's past as a con artist now threatened her peaceful life. Someone from her past stirred up trouble, which Nick's family wanted to protect him from. So, they had Chelsea investigated. She knew that all her secrets would be revealed eventually, and so, she left Genoa with her kids in 2018. However, she felt bad for Nick, so she left Christian, one of her kids, behind. Away from Genoa, Chelsea married a man named Calvin Boudreaux, who adopted Connor. They had a pretty good life, and she didn't have any plans to return to Genoa, much less tell Connor about his real father. However, she couldn't resist visiting the city, during which she broke up a fight between Nick and another guy, who turned out to be Adam. She was shocked to see him alive. Adam wanted to be back into Chelsea's life, but she told him that it wasn't possible anymore, and that she wasn't staying in town for long anyway. Eventually, Calvin followed Chelsea to Genoa, and they had a long talk with Nick, who was happy for the both of them. For some reason, Calvin had a heart attack, and Nick was quick to accuse Adam of killing him. Adam Adam, on the other hand, accused Chelsea of killing her husband for money since Calvin was wealthy, and that infuriated Chelsea. After Calvin passed away, she stayed in Genoa permanently. Nick pursued her again, and they got back together. However, Connor didn't want him as his father figure, but wanted to get close to his real father, Adam. Chelsea became co-owner of the Grand Phoenix Hotel, and it didn't take long for a former associate of her husband, Simon Black, to harass her, demanding money from her that he claimed Calvin owed him. She was held hostage along with Adam, Connor, and the other owner, Abby. They were eventually saved, but Chelsea was blackmailed into selling her shares, after which Nick and Chelsea broke up. Chelsea went back to Adam's arms and planned a company takeover with Adam as CEO of Newman Enterprises. In one of her trips to Kansas, she met one of her childhood friends, Alyssa Montalvo, and they found out that it was Victor who killed AJ, Alyssa's father. And then they took all the evidence from Alyssa and confronted Victor, threatening to expose him unless he made Adam the CEO. Victor agreed, but Victoria hinted that it was really Adam who killed AJ. Adam was quite disturbed because he didn't have any memory of it. He investigated on his own and confronted people from the past, including their caretaker and Sharon. When he was close to remembering, he left town and disappeared. But Chelsea tracked him down in Kansas, and he admitted that he was in touch with Sharon, which made Chelsea furious, but she forgave him. Adam said he wanted to be with Chelsea, and so they made plans. When Chelsea and Adam learned about Alyssa teaming up with Billy to expose Adam's past, they arranged for Connor to skip town and planted bugs in Billy's office and phone. They learned all of Billy's plans, and Chelsea went to meet up with them, but Adam made sure the meeting didn't happen by cutting the electricity in the building and trapping her in the elevator. She escaped, 
but not before hitting her head on the way out. She was disappointed and felt betrayed when she learned that it was Adam who arranged it. Their relationship suffered, and it didn't help that Adam's mental health was worsening. Adam had her kidnapped, but she again escaped. However, during her captivity, she'd fainted several times, indicating a much more serious illness. Chelsea eventually forgave Adam, and they left Genoa with Connor to live a more peaceful life away from it all. However, before they could leave town, she fainted and was diagnosed with an aneurysm, suffering brain damage with half of her body paralyzed. So she was confined to a wheelchair with a nurse to attend to her needs 24-7. Adam blamed himself for what had happened to Chelsea and took care of her. However, he continued reaching out to Sharon, which Chelsea was aware of since she could hear their conversation even during her state of paralysis. Adam thought bringing Sharon into their conversation would help Chelsea, but it only angered her as she was so jealous. She slowly recovered, but kept it from Adam. Adam. She saw a photo of Adam and Sharon kissing, and she initially thought of openly killing him, but opted to take her revenge subtly. Instead of outright shooting Adam in the head, she poisoned Ray and framed Adam for it. However, when she couldn't contact Connor, she suspected Victor had a hand in it. Victor suspected that she'd framed Adam and had her confess to Ray while she was having a mental breakdown. Victor had it arranged that way so that she could be sent to a mental institution. When Adam learned about it, he helped her escape. When she heard that Anita, her mother, was hurt, she left Genoa with Connor and Ray to take care of her. In the latest season, Chelsea was already hinting at a comeback. After being gone for quite some time, Connor and Ray already returned to Genoa, waiting for Chelsea's homecoming. Some of the people there were excited, but some dreaded her return. When she returned in January 2022, a potential Chelsea and Ray shocking romance seemed to be in the offing. For more twists and turns in the ongoing saga, be sure to tune in to the next exciting episodes of The Young and the Restless. Thank you for spending time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you back tomorrow.